Hi, and thanks for tuning in. This is Carla Cross with a little bit of a cold here today, so I apologize for my voice, but I wanted to make a quick video showing you how to set up uh, your Gmail to work with Safeless Genie. If you use Safeless at all, this is an awesome tool that you've got to have that's going to save you so much time and effort and allow you to practically dominate any safe list. The instructions for how to set this up are actually included right here in the help section. But because there's been some confusion, I have had quite a few questions. I want to show you how to configure this with Gmail. If you're doing marketing online, hopefully you're using Gmail. If you're using something else, um, I'm not working with that. I will try to help you, but the best thing to do would be to drop a uh, support ticket to Stanel, the creator of Safeless Genie, and he is very good about answering questions and getting back in touch with you, and I'm sure he will solve your problems um, because uh, he wants everyone to take advantage of this tool uh, and get the benefit out of their membership there. So here are the instructions, but the first thing that we're going to do is actually to go into Safeless Genie. The tab that you're going to want to use here is the Settings tab, and up here in the upper left-hand corner is where you set everything up. For any Gmail account, under Mail Server, type in pop.gmail.com. Port is 995. Type in your user uh, name at gmail.com, your password check this box that says SSL and that is it. Incidentally these you can move these around and adjust them throughout this whole program like you would an Excel sheet or an Excel spreadsheet. I have three Gmail accounts that I'm using because I'm a member of so many safe lists and you can add as many as you want to. Some of my uh, accounts are just for safe lists and one of them, this one here, I actually use for other mail and we're going to talk about how you handle those differently in a minute. Once you do that, hit save settings and you're done with that part. Now the next thing we're going to do is go into our Gmail and we're going to give Safeless Genie, we're going to uh, have it give Safeless Genie permission to get the Gmail, to get the email out of here. So click settings and then you're going to go to the tab that says okay, forwarding and pop slash IMAP. So click on that link right there. You're going to focus on this pop download section. You're going to check the radio knob that says enable pop for all mail, even mail that's already been downloaded. This item number two is very important. If you are using this account here, which I do, for communication and not just safe list emails, check this option that says keep Gmail's copy in the inbox. If you are only using this email to get safe list emails, select this option that says delete Gmail's copy. That way what it will do is once safe list genie pulls these emails out, they're going to be gone from your Gmail account. And so that will help your Gmail not to overflow. Uh, so you won't get uh, banned from any of the safe lists for having uh, your emails bounced. Um, but I want to caution you again that if you are using this for other communication as I am with this particular one, let it keep Gmail's copy in the inbox so that you don't by accident lose any of the emails that you're needing to retain. After you're done with that, be sure and click Save Changes so that it will uh, save the selections that you have chosen. Now what that's going to do is when you go back into your safe list genie and you go to the read inbox, it will then, when you hit this button check mail, it is, goes to those Gmail accounts. You'll see it doing that down here. It's going through my first account right now and pulling all the new messages. After it finishes that one, it'll go on to the second one and on to the third, because that's how many I have stored. And you will see it has pulled the various credit um, mailers through so that I can start going through those and collecting credits for them. Hope that answers your questions. If you need anything else, uh, please feel free to send me a message, and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.